just talking. How are you doing, Bill? Good to see you. Chris, how are you? I'm fine. I wouldn't recognize you. Let's go one, two, three. I think that'll do it. Yay! Thanks, Todd. This is the skirt that went with the sweater. Look at that. Those were good times. Those they? were excellent times. I wouldn't recognize you if you had that. A lot of good games. A lot of hard hit. This is the one that we won with. That was the one. You know, that's the one that survived the cold weather. That's it. <laughs> I gave it to my dad, and he carried it back to Joplin, and then I got it. The uh, 77 team was a compilation of uh, 41 boys, five seniors, uh, several juniors. Uh, they had played. Uh, together since the seventh and eighth grade. We grew up together. I mean, we, we were playing Pee Wee baseball. We played Little League baseball. We had uh, football junior high, and we knew each other. We knew each other what the other guy was gonna do. Football in Greenfield was a very big deal, and um, it was a little bit like the Friday Night Lights uh, show, a, a Greenfield style, you know, the, the, the games uh, were you know, wildly supported by the uh, by the local businesses and fans and, and the school, and it, it was really it was uh, it was a big deal to be a part of the football team and wear the blue and white. We did a little series. It was called Athlete of the Week. We started it in 1972, and the Coca-Cola sponsorship continued right through 1988. I'll not forget 1977 because we made the long trips out to Greenfield to do the Athlete of the Week series. You could tell David was a, uh, what I call a blue chipper. I mean, he was, he was going to be, he had size. He wasn't that fast, he'll laugh about that, but, but he wasn't gifted speed-wise. But he had a tremendous, he was a competitor, and he didn't want to lose, and I mean, he was very smart and reacted to everything, and yet he encouraged the people around him, too. Uh, the junior lineman, a junior class was tremendous, and then we had uh, a couple of sophomores that stepped in and also contributed too. So it was a, it was a total team effort. It's as cold as I've ever been in my life, uh, honestly. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I remember the, the weather, I, I said, now guys, don't let this weather be the determining factor. Let's put it out of our mind. And I walked around the edge of that building and that wind knocked my hat off and it was blowing straight across and snowing and it was below zero on wind chill, and the ground was like playing on concrete. And they had the advantage right off the bat, they scored. It was the first time we was behind, I believe, all year, six to nothing. And so that, you know, that's a lot of pressure, and you're up there at their, their place, thousands of people. One of our players, I think it was Todd Decker, blocked a punt. So that got us on the board. When we finally scored, it wasn't as cold, I can tell you that. <laughs> we had about a minute left in the half. We were somewhere around midfield. So uh, we had an all, go, everybody's running go routes. So we went long on one play. I overthrew Billy. One of our other receivers came back. Our hands receiver, not, not the fastest guy, but he was our hands guy. He came back and said, David, I can beat this guy on the right side. So what do I do? I, I switch strengths and I put Billy over on that other side. I knew if Johnny could beat the guy, Billy beat him by 10 yards, and he did. I don't even really remember the defensive back that I was against, but I remember looking behind me and he was running behind me and I was wide open and the ball landed right where I wanted it. At that point, weather was not a factor. Second half, we kind of got our ground and pound uh, power eye going and, and uh, we're able to score again with Joe Reeves, I think. Uh, but, uh, I punted for the team and the, the center hiked it over my head. And we were down on their end of the field on like the 20 yard line. I picked the ball up and took off running around the corner and I kicked it on the run and it went 70 yards. <laughs> it hit the ground one time and rolled about 50 yards. That worked out real well for us. It had worked so hard to get there nine degree weather, 15 mile hour winds, and we went in as an underdog and came out as state champs. Seeing these guys who achieved that singular honor for the city of Greenfield in, D in the Dade County, 
Hey, that's a big, big, big deal. Everybody wants to win state, and it doesn't happen in life. It just doesn't happen. We were fortunate. We didn't get hurt. Uh, we improved every week. We were lucky sometimes. Sometimes we just were pretty good. Star.